Greetings, Planeswalkers. I'm Adam Attaney, design lead for Magic Legends, and today I'm excited to give you a breakdown of the highly requested brand new gear system, otherwise known as equipment in Magic Legends. Through our closed alpha tests in 2020, we gathered a lot of player feedback that while our spell and artifact loot was an interesting approach to player progression in the Magic Multiverse, these features couldn't fully replace a gear system in an action RPG. So, we took another pass at our itemization to develop a gear system that makes defeating enemies and completing missions that much more rewarding, while avoiding overbearing loot drops and inventory management. Magic Legends will feature six slots for equipment, allowing Planeswalkers to improve character stats and collect new appearances. Your characters will be able to mix, match, and maximize pieces of gear for their head, body, arms, and feet, as well as two accessory slots. Equipment pieces come in four rarities, common, uncommon, rare, and mythic rare, just like tabletop magic. The stat bonuses from equipment will focus on improving overall combat ability and survivability through effects like increased damage potency, mana color specific damage reduction, soul stealing to consume the life force of fallen enemies, to name just a few. Beyond these basic stat bonuses, equipment will provide triggered effects through their mods which synergize with spells and artifacts, deepening the level of loadout customization. For example, I've just completed a mission and earned the Nemesis Mask as a reward. I've now unlocked a usable gear piece and its appearance in the tailor. By default, this item has three mods. Its core mod grants a percent chance to taunt enemies when I damage them while at full health. It also has two adaptive mods, one of which increases my resistance to blue mana spells and enemies, and another that increases the potency of health globes. My core mod for taunting enemies will have a significant impact when combined with something like the Molten Shell spell and the Geomancer's melee-centric ability kit, as I'm receiving shield over my health bar and dealing a lot of damage up close to enemies who are forced to continually attack me. All gear you collect has a single core mod and one or more adaptive mods. Core mods are fixed and cannot be swapped out, while adaptive mods can be interchanged. To keep your equipment collection focused, duplicate pieces of gear don't need to be sold to a vendor. Instead, you will either unlock a new adaptive mod or earn an upgrade material for that specific piece of equipment. These materials can then be used to improve the stats of a mod on that equipment. For example, after defeating some enemies, I have just received another Nemesis Mask. I see that this particular version of the Nemesis Mask has an adaptive mod for plus secondary ability potency, which I didn't have before. So I've now unlocked this adaptive mod and can choose to replace the existing blue mana resistance with this brand new secondary ability potency in that first adaptive mod slot. Aside from stats, everyone knows that looking cool is the greatest way to increase your character's effectiveness. In Magic Legends, equipment not only gives you access to a wide variety of items for enhanced performance, but it also unlocks new cosmetic options. To access your unlocked appearances and update your outfit, simply visit a tailor, found in the hub area of each region. In addition to costume changes, the tailor also allows for adjustments to a character's body, face, skin color, hairstyle, and more. With this new equipment system complementing deck building and artifacts, preparing Planeswalker loadouts is an even deeper experience, and we're so excited for you all to start theory crafting incredible builds. We've got more awesome stuff coming as we prepare for open beta, so make sure to follow us on our socials for all the latest news and updates on Magic Legends. I'll see you in the multiverse.